welcome to another episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Afternoon again, YouTube. I uh, had this meter now on for over 30 minutes. Uh, the test and calibration instructions say to make sure it's warmed up very well. Um, I zeroed the uh, meter on DC plus, which is what it says to do. Then you're supposed to switch to DC minus and see how much it deviates. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, it does it deviates a little bit. Goes right back there. What it says is basically is uh, if there's more than two divisions on the scale, it should be regarded as uh, merely an indication that the additional aging of 12 AU7 tube is required. So it may be that it's just not warmed up enough. But uh, anyway, that was the first test. Uh, DC calibrate is next. I'll, I'll, get, I'll bring you back as soon as I set that up. All right, now I have the uh, DC calibrate mode set up. You're supposed to, uh, I don't know, it can be seen very easily, but there's a small red dot right here on the meter. That should uh, should go up there, and that's where it should stay at when I, I press this. So you can see it's pretty much right on. So the DC is calibrated. Next is the um, ohm stick. So let me let me set up for that. Hang on. Now the ohm's test is uh, you first uh, put on ohms. I had to replace the battery, which I had out to use of the last test. And you set the ohms adjust to infinity, which it is. And then test take and test or touch this. To the end, like that. Let's see if I can hold this and do the camera too. Anyway, there is the reading. It is supposed to be zero, but uh, there's always a little, even in the DMMs, there's always a little bit of uh, resistance there. It's not perfect. Besides that, the end of this probe is, is needs definitely needs cleaning. It's uh, not very good shape. So I'm going to count that as good and move on to the next test. Alright, the uh, this next test is the AC uh, calibrate. I uh, set the AC balance control. It's supposedly set where it doesn't move between switching between these things. It does move a little bit, but between AC uh, and DC plus, which is the same thing as I had before. I got a little problem there, but other than that, that's good. That's pretty darn good. So we'll count that good. And then next thing is to do uh, set the range switch up to 150 volts and re reinsert the phone plug, connect the test probe, set on AC and common lead across the 117 volt AC line. Now this is going to be a little difficult because not all um, <laughs> power leads are the same as far as the, how much voltage coming in your house but we can uh, we can do a little bit better than that we can take and, and use the uh, digital meter and get a pretty good accurate uh, assessment of what that is and then check it with the with the uh, VTVM so hang on let me let me get back to that alright uh, as you can see on the digital meter we have uh, 118 point well it's it it's very say 118 is what we'll we'll be shooting for so let's uh, unplug that and, and uh, check it with the uh, VTVM now alright uh, I'm not really sure which uh, what I'm looking at here According to what I think is 
is what uh, I'm set on. I'm reading around 140 volts. Uh, that's supposed to be DC volts or I uh, can't see it. Let me read AC volts. So that scale is a 150 volt scale. So that's <laughs> that's just a little off. So we'll have to sit, reset that. It looks like. Let me see what I got to do now. Hang on. I'll uh, check the uh, what it says to do. All right. Now, as you can see, the meter reads 118, and that's pretty close to what that one says. So, I'd say that's pretty much right on. So, we're gonna count that good, and uh, that concludes the calibration. So, there is an aging and final calibration, but that's for new meters when you first beat them, when you first uh, build them. So that shouldn't apply because this one's definitely not new. So anyway, just wanted to uh, run through the calibration real quick on this meter. And uh, seems to be like it should be good to use now. So thanks for watching.